Hey team, I wanted to do a quick video on volume and I just want you all to know what to be looking at. For me, my personal weekly goal for my own personal volume, so that means um, the retail that I um, am actually selling, my goal is 500 volume points at a minimum and a thousand or over is what I'd like to shoot for. So um, not always do I hit 500, but majority of the time I always do. And um, not always do I hit a thousand, but I know when I hit 500 and a thousand, um, I'm going to have a pretty good check that week as far as just retail alone. So um, how to access this, you guys are going to log in to your Team Beachbody account. Um, make sure that you're logged in as, as uh, your coach with your username and password. And then you're going to click coach and then cl um, click coach online office. You guys should be checking this office every single day. There's so much important information. You'll see if your customers have made their orders. You can check your commission. You can look at your volume. You can check your um, success club. You can look and see where you're at on the leadership ladder. You can check to see um, what new coaches are in your organization. Even if you are not actually... Um, adding coaches yourself, you're still getting coaches added to your organization on that strong leg because that's being um, built also by the people all above you. So I always thought that was cool to see how many um, new coaches I had each day that were being added into my organization too. So um, to get back on the subject of volume, you will then go to my business, my volume, and then you'll see my volume at the top. There's also carryover volume. i I'm not going to get into that on this video, but um, eventually we'll talk about carryover volume and I want everybody to look at it and, um, you know, send me that number of what your carryover is and I can kind of uh, explain that a little bit better or I may do a totally uh, separate video on carryover. <clears throat> okay, so you click my volume and then once you go into my volume, you are going to see total PV. So total PV is going to be your um, sell. So whatever you've sold in retail is converted into these um, personal volume points. So for example, Shakeology is 90 volume points. Um, the 21 day, uh, fix or, uh, well, actually challenge packs that are in the category of 140 are 105 volume points. I think, um, I'm trying to think, uh, challenge packs that are in 160 category, like 21 day fixes, um, this current month of September. I think those are, oh gosh, I think it's like 120 volume points. It's something like that. So that just kind of shows you how those points accumulate and why you really want to try to strive to hit that 500. And the cool thing is, is you're, you're seeing more than just those challenge packs, but you're actually seeing that residual income come from Shakeology. When people renew their Shakeology orders, you're also getting that contributed to volume, which, you know, you're also getting a, a commission for. So total volume, um, you can see in this column where I have, um, all my volume, you can see it kind of sporadic. And here at the top, um, for me, the past uh, August, well, July, August, September, my volume has went down because this is my first business center. I now put all of my orders through my second business center, and that's probably going to be over your all's head right now, so don't worry about it. But just to kind of tell you, um, you know, before I opened my second business center, all my, all my orders went through this first one. So you'll see those numbers being a lot higher there towards the bottom. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now let's look to your far right. So now we know what total PV is just you guys. That's what you want to strive for. Okay, so I wanted to strive to always hit 500. Okay, and um, I, I knew it was going to be a really, really good commission check if I hit 1000 or over. Okay, so that was really important to me to really try and hit that and make that a goal, a coaching goal of mine. So I really want you guys to start looking at this every single day and um, really see where you're at at the end of the week. And I'm going to start recognizing people whenever they have that um, volume of um, they've hit either 200 or higher, 500 or higher, or of course, 1,000 or higher. Um, so let's kind of look at the far right side. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, team cycle bonus and how this all works and what you guys will be looking at. So LV is left side volume, left, left side leg. RV is right side volume, right side leg. 
So um, for example, um, I'm gonna kind of do the math of breaking down um, the volume for team cycle bonus. So you're gonna take your largest number and divide it by 200. So for me, my largest number was that 4,115 at the very top. Um, I'm just gonna be doing that one week, so we're looking at that one. And I divide it by 200, it gave me 20.5. Well, you can't round up unless you had carryover volume. Um, and if I had carryover volume, then I could round up. But if I didn't, um, then I would be rounding down to 20. Um, and then you take that smallest number and you divide it by 100. So that's that 2,336. I divided by 100 and I got 23.36. So again, I'm going to round it down unless I had that carryover volume, which would be rounding it back up. Um, but for, for these purposes, let's round it down to 23. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the smallest number. Um, so your smallest number is 20 because it has to have a balance. So I can't say, oh, I'm gonna cycle 23 times. Well, you don't have a balance of 23 cycles on the other side where we had to divide it by 200. So you're gonna take that smallest number being 20. And if you are an Emerald rank coach, because you have to be an Emerald or higher to actually receive team cycle bonus. This is why it's so crucial to get to Emerald as soon as you can, because you don't start accumulating this, um, volume that you're getting until you become emerald um, so you really don't reap the benefits of it and you know you may think well i'm not that great at retailer i don't have a lot of coaches well don't forget you're having a leg being built for you so if you're higher up in the organization and you have i don't know 15 20 coaches even just five or three whatever then they are you're also earning their volume to go towards your team cycle bonus so keep that in mind guys um okay so i would take that 20 and i would take it times um if i was an emerald coach i would take it times 14. if i was a ruby coach which is a very rare thing that's why you don't hear me talk about it very often a ruby coach is two emeralds and i think they have six coaches total that's considered ruby a diamond coach is um, going to be those two emeralds and eight coaches, eight active coaches total, and emerald on each side. So you would take that times 18, okay? So for my sake, I am a diamond coach and above. So we'll say um, 20 cycles, um, and I'll take those 20 cycles and I'll times it by 18. So by $18, that means my team cycle bonus so far um, at that time was $360, okay? So um, I actually did this, I think this was only on day two of this week when I actually did this screenshot. So that kind of shows you, I typically end my week um, with a team cycle bonus check um, of normally in about the six to $700 range which is really cool because I'm seeing the growth of this um, happen every single month. So that number keeps growing and getting more and more and more as the team keeps growing and the, and the team keeps doing well. Um, <clears throat> so that's the importance of a team because this number has just exploded in growth. Um, when I was a coach uh, at the beginning of the year, my team cycle bonus was usually about 40. Um, I would usually get, I think, $48 to $72. Um, so it wasn't that high, and now it's usually taking up majority um, of my check. It's usually with within the $700 range. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over this so you guys understand team cycle bonus a little bit, but also what you should be looking at for yourself as far as volume goes. And you really want to be looking at that total PV, and you really want to make sure you're kind of being consistent and shooting for that 500 at the minimum. And if you really want to be a go-getter, um, strive for a thousand. It's so super doable. You can you can totally do it, guys. Some of you who are who are hitting these high success club points, you may be very close to hitting that thousand um, personal volume points already. So hopefully you guys found this helpful and I didn't confuse the crap out of you. Um, but I just wanted to kind of go over that a little bit and um, kind of explain it. And I want you guys to start looking at this. And if you're still confused, send me a screenshot of what your volume is showing up to be and I can help you um, kind of do the math on it.